sine of theta 1 times the sine of theta 2. Uh, theta what? Let's face it. But the units for the coefficient of friction would be what? It's hard to make physics exciting. Anyone? These students are wild about physics. It's physics day. And we are just taking different measurements on the different rides and measuring like energy and height and stuff like that. <laughs> Telling the kids we're going to go study physics at Valley Fair. You know, you add that prepositional phrase at the end, at Valley Fair, and all of a sudden their eyes light up. You know, they, they've been looking forward to this since the fall when I said, study hard now, and this is what you get. Multiply by two, square root. Physics Day makes teaching physics easy. Well, there's a lot of incentives for them, and it's really great for me to be able to, you know, we, we kind of trick them into doing physics almost because they're having fun at the same time. They know the theory. Now it's time for application. We're going on um, circular rides where we're to the side. The balls in the middle help us like decipher what angle we're at. You're able to look at that thing when you're upside down. Well, we like hold on to it really tight. <laughs> at least, and it's funner to ride on rides than to sit there. And you're still learning as much as you would if someone was lecturing at you. Units for the coefficient of friction were what again? <laughs> that is definitely physics. <laughs> That's Physics Day. No. Stephen Reynolds, Minnesota oh. 9 News. Physics is He's great. Great. You, love <laughs> UPN 9 News. Stephen Reynolds, News 4, San Antonio. Stephen Reynolds, News 4, Utah. Stephen Reynolds, Oregon, News 12. Stephen Reynolds, UPN News 13.